Yes, guys, we are just about to talk to Colonel John Klein. He is the commander here for the 60th AMW uh, Travis Air Force Base. He's about to tell us what happened here today. Okay, uh, thank you very much. We thank you for this opportunity to uh, explain what happened today at Travis Air Force Base. Uh, we were in the middle of a multi-day exercise. Uh, the first day uh, had concluded, uh, but we had, uh, after that had concluded, we had uh, reports of, of an active shooter outside of our base exchange. Of course, uh, there was a miscommunication in the end, and we're thankful for the fact that that was a false report. However, our uh, first responders reacted absolutely appropriately, and in, the, uh, in an incident like this, we do not uh, uh, question those inputs. We simply respond uh, to ensure the safety of our personnel and everyone visiting on base. Do you know how that miscommunication came about? All as we know is that uh, we, we think it is derived from essentially a heightened sense of, uh, of awareness uh, based on, number one, the exercise and potentially some of the incidents that have happened around the country uh, 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 in the last few days. So did someone call and say, hey, there's a shooting, or how did you guys get that information? Someone did, someone did call in. Uh, it was a base employee who called our security forces law enforcement desk. And uh, they, uh, uh, the, our security forces personnel uh, on duty uh, took that information and, and uh, uh, we applied appropriate procedures and reacted appropriately. So did this person, did this person essentially give you a false report or did she or he have information that was, you know, that could have been mistaken? So uh, at this time we're still looking into exactly what happened. However, what we do know is that uh, th there were reports of a shot being heard outside of our base exchange, and uh, those that is the report that was called into the, our law enforcement desk. Was it more than one report or several reports? There was a single report, and uh, the report was for a single shot. Uh, we know that there have been some uh, 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 information out there on social media and such that there were casualties and, and that uh, 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 other people hurt. That is not true. Uh, there were no casualties, uh, thankfully, but the response was absolutely appropriate by our, our first responders. They did an outstanding job. Have you also heard the phrase active shooter? I don't know if that came from within the base or somewhere off base, uh, but a single shot wouldn't be an active shooter. In this day and age, you hear active shooter and you think something entirely different. Can you explain that difference? You're absolutely correct. Uh, uh, so a single shot, not an active shooter. Uh, however, uh, in terms of a procedural response, it's going to be treated exactly the same. So active shooter, okay, that, thank you that so much, Colonel Klein. From within Travis Air Force Base. Again, we are live here outside of. Travis Air Force Base, we are wrapping up this press conference. Back to you guys in the studio.